So it's a short uh, synopsis, but time now to cut across live to Bishkek, where the Indian Foreign Affairs Ministry is addressing the media. Let's listen in. Meetings. Today the focus has been on Prime Minister's participation in different formats of SEO meetings. I have with me Secretary West, Sri Gitesh Sharma, and Joint Secretary SEO. They both will take us through Prime Minister's participation at the SEO meetings and any other detail which they would like to share with the media. With this, sir, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. And we will be short in time. Let's come straight to the uh, briefing itself. Uh, today, uh, Prime Minister participated in the SEO summit, and uh, the summit itself, the deliberations were divided into uh, two portions. The first portion was the restricted format, which is meant for the members. Uh, and uh, then uh, after that was the expanded format where the uh, observers also uh, join in, as you are aware that there are four observer countries also of uh, SEO. Uh, Prime Minister very graciously, he thanked uh, the Kyrgyz uh, President for hosting the summit and the excellent arrangements. Uh, he also thanked uh, President uh, Putin, uh, congratulated him for the next uh, uh, summit which will be hosted by Russia. So he expressed his best wishes for the next summit also. Uh, uh, Prince, it's, uh, uh, you won't be surprised the kind of themes that were discussed in uh, over, the, over the two sessions. The uh, essential uh, uh, discussions revolved around terrorism, uh, Afghanistan and uh, the uh, economic issues, especially the opportunities that there are for uh, economic cooperation. Uh, as far as uh, terrorism is concerned, the, there was a need for uh, felt for close cooperation among the member countries, uh, including use, using the uh, platform of uh, RATS, the regional anti-terrorist uh, structure based in uh, uh, Tashkent. The, now on the Afghanistan uh, issue, Prime Minister reiterated the well-known Indian position that uh, we were well on the process uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, should be led, Afghan led, uh, Afghan owned, and Afghan, Afghan controlled. And as a friend of uh, Afghanistan, India uh, reiterated its uh, commitment to working for the peace and stability of uh, that country. Economic uh, issues uh, were covered also in, in the discussions, and uh, some uh, issues which really came up was apart from the uh, need for better connectivity, including what Prime Minister mentioned about uh, North-South uh, Corridor, uh, Chabahar Port, which has become operational and is uh, available. Uh, he uh, also touched upon such uh, themes as uh, uh, renewable energy, uh, environment protection and uh, solar energy. These are areas where India has its uh, strengths and uh, is uh, ready to work with the countries of uh, Shanghai Cooperation Organization to improve their energy basket and uh, work for common good in terms of uh, climate change. Uh, uh, friends, it may be very interesting that uh, uh, Prime Minister uh, he, uh, used the acronym HEALTH, he introduced the acronym HEALTH, H-E-A-L-T-H. -E I'll read it out very slowly what this acronym stands for. Uh, H for healthcare cooperation, E for economic cooperation, A for alternate energy, L for literature and culture, T for terrorism free society, H for humanitarian cooperation. Uh, if, is that uh, okay or would you need me to mention? So that essentially uh, was the uh, uh, Prime Minister's message. I think it was a very good message. It summed up really India's approach, which is uh, very constructive to create a very positive agenda and positive feel about the entire SEO process. Uh, the cultural uh, element also he very strongly uh, reiterated the need to work closely, especially considering that there are so many commonalities between India and uh, the, most of the countries of uh, Central Asia, the Indian. Films, for instance, that was uh, 
you know, we, we had mentioned about organizing film festivals. Already they have been done in Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and in Kyrgyzstan uh, also. So that is uh, something which is uh, ongoing. So overall the message was that uh, uh, India uh, would like to see uh, a very positive content in uh, the SEO process. We are ready to contribute to that. We are ready to uh, work with the countries of uh, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Uh, friends, there were also a series of uh, documents, agreements also, which were signed uh, today. I will request uh, my uh, colleague, Joint Safety Shanghai Cooperation Organization, uh, Ms. Madhumita Zaika, to cover that. Good afternoon. Uh, we have successfully concluded uh, the second summit that we have uh, participated as a full fledged member of the SEO. As is the convention in the SEO, a joint declaration comes out at the end of every summit. And uh, we have had, we have spoken about uh, together about terrorism, about issues relating to uh, deeper co cooperation between the parliamentarians of uh, all the SEO countries, as also uh, enhanced cooperation between the regions of the SEO countries, in our case, the states. Uh, some of the outcome, important outcome documents uh, that came out of the summit uh, were the document of the anti-narcotic strategy and the program of action. And then, like I just told you about uh, the inter-regional cooperation and the heads of regions forum, and as also three documents which were signed were on uh, healthcare, on environment, and uh, on sports cooperation. Uh, other than that, uh, there are the general administrative agreements. In total, 14 decisions have been signed by the Council of Heads of, uh, of the States, and we have on the sidelines signed some cooperation agreements between SEO and UN specialized agencies. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Madhu. Uh, we have time for maybe two or three questions. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm Mark. This is Ashish Singh from my business in the news. Uh, my first question is, sir, uh, was there something specific in the Bishkin Declaration on uh, terrorism uh, in terms of uh, specifically coming from India side and Prime Minister Modi, Modi side? And uh, second, uh, uh, any uh, roadmap for the uh, next uh, SEO summit? Uh, in terms of the areas that would be focused on, that would be worked on by the country members, that's going to happen in Russia. Well, on terrorism, uh, or well on terrorism in the joint declaration, it's uh, the the principle in the SU negotiations is of coming to a consensus uh, on a statement, and that is a consensus of all the countries who are uh, coming out with a joint declaration. So it is a strong statement against uh, terrorism, and uh, it will, uh, the joint declaration will be available on the website of SEO soon, and you will be able to see that it's a very strong language, which has been also kind of endorsed by all the member countries of the SEOs. It's a consensus statement which has come out. And as far as the roadmap for the next summit is concerned, the baton has gone passed on to Russia. And Russia has already informed that they will have around 90 events and 90 documents to highlight. And as President Putin also highlighted in his speech, that they will focus again on uh, certain areas like cyber terrorism, which is very important for them, uh, cooperation in IT and digitization, as well as marking 75 years of, uh, of the uh, Second World War of, uh, celebrations. That, that is what Russia is also looking for. And maybe other areas by and by it will come by. Thank you, uh, Mita. Uh, I'll have to cut this short because we are going to start the bilateral component uh, of the visit now. Uh, and this is going to be very soon, so I'm sorry, but I will not be able to take any further questions. Uh, the speech is available on our website. I'm sure some of you yes. must have seen that. But once again, thank you all for joining. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir, and thank you. Thank you very much.